The family of Rebecca Zahao is waiting for a judge to determine if their lawsuit against the sheriff can move forward. Good evening. Thanks for joining us on this Friday. I'm Marcella Lee. The family's attorney says there are revealing details and documents about Zahao's death in 2011 that the sheriff's department withheld. News 8's Heather Hope has more on where the case stands right now. And we're still in a waiting period from the judge. The attorney for the Zahal family filed a writ petition wanting to get information from the sheriff's department documents regarding Rebecca Zahal's death. In court requesting investigative documents, the attorney for Rebecca Zahal's family made his case. We've got this mismatch here of people independently looking at the facts who were saying it's murder. The sheriff now looking at it twice and saying that it's suicide. Something's not right. The only way we find out what's going on here is by getting the documents the sheriff has. Attorney Keith Greer says San Diego Sheriff Bill Gore withheld crucial documents, which include the inter-office communications and the instructions given to deputies. 32-year-old Zahal was found dead at the Spreckles Mansion in Coronado in 2011. The sheriff's department ruled it a suicide, but her family thinks she was murdered. Her family says Sheriff Bill Gore is required by law to release files in the case, and the files he did give were not sufficient. Gore's attorney says the law allows him to withhold the information. Uh, there are no factual allegations in the petition that would ever lead to the conclusion that a sheriff's uh, instructions to his investigators concerning the conduct of an investigation with the sheriff's department, there are no circumstances uh, that where those would be discoverable. If they Greer says the sheriff's attorney argued hard trying to get the case dismissed, but he feels the judge will deny the motion to dismiss and they will move on to the hearing at the end of January. The sheriff's department, Sheriff Gore, for some reason does not want to let the public know what he told those officers, what their real instructions were. Greer says the family needs this missing piece to their puzzle. And all that the final ruling will let us know whether we can proceed to the hearing or the case is over and it goes up on appeal. A ruling from a judge is expected on Monday, and from that decision, it will determine if a hearing will proceed in January about those documents from the Sheriff's Department to be released. Heather Hope, News 8.